What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Young Tex. Christmas special video, even though Christmas was like yesterday. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell. I hope you guys enjoy this idea. I'm going to try to make this in dreams. If I do, I'm going to have to get good at these character models. I can probably make everything else look fantastic. I'm getting, getting pretty good at that. So what's my idea? What would I pitch to Capcom for Resident Evil 8 since Resident Evil Village is not Resident Evil 8, apparently? Um, If I ever did try to attempt to work at Capcom, this would be my idea for a Resident Evil mainline entry. Returning to Raccoon City. You might be thinking, young text, you lost your mind. Why would you return to Raccoon City? Now, I don't know yet. I don't know that part yet. I actually, um, that's going to take a little bit for me to actually figure that out. But everything else after that is pretty much solid. So I want to fight nuclear nemesis so you might you might be thinking holy crap he might be on to something he might be on to something imagine these enemies like how they would evolve to it during you know that blast now i'm not sure if it was a nuclear blast that they bombed raccoon city with i still haven't like you know double checked that but maybe it's not even been you know been specified and that's something you could specify in resident evil um raccoon city return return to raccoon city i'm not i'm not i'm honestly not sure but like it's a great idea because in this game resident evil 3 we get to see how nemesis evolved during um his damage you know I, you know he takes a lot of damage but he just keeps on evolving and um and viruses like do that so like that's something that i really want to see um Again, I don't know why why they would come back to Raccoon City, but I do know that I would like to see what these things would be like, a nu nuclear T-Virus zombies, and, and I also want this game to introduce something that I don't think has ever been introduced into the series, which would be secret bosses, or maybe just one secret boss, maybe two at the max, because, but, um... Uh, Birkins, I think, was one of the, uh, I think he was the main boss in Resident Evil 1, and, you know, Mr. X, nuclear Mr. X, that'd be dope if you could, uh, now to see what would happen with both of those characters in the same game would be insane to me, but the secret boss would be, um, in this case, it'd be, uh, Birkins, because, you know, I'm pretty, pretty sure that dude got destroyed, um, but it'd be sort of like Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts, like, you'd have to, like, find find him or and whatnot you know you, it's not something you would have to do but that'd be like something that i would introduce to that line in the game is the option to maybe one to two se types of secret bosses um outside of that you know i guess the only other thing that'd be hard to figure out would be who would actually return would it be like all like like you know mostly people that had already been in raccoon city or would it just be like a new person if it would be people that have already been in raccoon city i'd like to see jill and leon go there i kind of have forgotten if um in resident evil 6 you ever played as jill i think you did because i think it was a team of two but i i've completely forgotten it's been a while since i played six um but I'd really like to see either Jill and Leon return here, or I would like to see something completely new. Something completely new. I remember in Resident Evil 6, there's like a Neo Umbrella, I think, so I think they're trying to bring Umbrella back somehow. Um, I would say, if you were to like bring somebody new into this entry, maybe it should be either like somebody like like somebody that's working for people that are trying to get research data that umbrella may have had and since raccoon city would be the only place that you could go maybe they had to wait for raccoon city to like you know not be um so radioactive in order to return to it in order to get that data so now they're returning, they're sending somebody, you know, to here, 
and that person doesn't know that they're actually working for a bad company now this company wouldn't have anything to do with umbrella they just know you know at this time what umbrella is um that could be something you could do and then maybe leon could infiltrate it so you could like bring leon into the series or jill into the series and then you know you know you can do whatever you want with that or you could have leon trying to infiltrate this madness that's happening like you could start it out like that instead if you didn't want to start it out from the perspective of a new character you could have a leon or a jill or whoever um you know come in um trying to stop the person that is trying to collect the data that would be a way you could actually get this uh rolling for a game like this in the series um so why am i actually putting this on youtube like like i don't know if like you know people actually like you know le legitimately um say their ideas and like you know i think usually you're supposed to like just you know keep it in like some kind of folder and then show it to somebody but um I, I always like putting lore and stuff on my channel and my channel started out with resident evil stuff that's how i started my channel you might be able to find some of those older videos um and then we just kept on going along going along then i found dreams and i actually do like dreams so I, again i might attempt to actually make this in dreams if i do it's gonna look spec like it's got a it's got to be on point, you know what I'm saying? Um, this game, Resident Evil 3, is actually scary um, in the beginning. I wouldn't say so much uh, after you fight Nemesis running around, you know? He's like, he, he like turns into like some kind of animal thing. Um, but during, um, and I know Resident Evil, like I read the Resident Evil 2 remake was, uh, you know, there's some things people didn't like as much about Resident Evil 3 remake. And the main thing I'm I, I'm seeing is that it's less survival-y, if that makes sense. It is during the beginning, though, but um, that's only because um, you know Nemesis might be watching, uh, like, like, might come out of nowhere. But once that disappears, the threat of that, then sort of, so does the survival horror. And it, it sort of, you know what I'm saying? Because that's sort of what I was um, the most scared about. Because that dude is fast in this game. Like, the first time I seen him run around that corner and then just stop and stare at you, that was actually legitimately terrifying um, to me, at least. Um, and, I, and I've and i never played a Resident Evil 3 uh, because Resident Evil 2 is so scary. And I, the, it was like the first game that I picked up one of the first games for the nintendo 64 and i didn't know what i was getting myself into i was like i rented it from blockbuster or something i was really young and after that i like stayed away from resident evil which is why i never got to resident evil 3 it'd only be whenever resident evil 4 came out um for the nintendo wii um that i would actually get back into resident evil and start even enjoying scary games I'd always watch scary movies with my mom, so I thought I could handle a scary game, but games are a lot more, um, a lot more, um, um, immersive, if that makes sense. Um, so it's, it's a different type of scary. I wouldn't say that the, that movies are less scary than games, it's just, it's a different type of roller coaster, if that makes sense, and I just wasn't ready for that. Um, so... That's my idea. Nuclear nemesis, nuclear Mr. X, and then, you know, some enemy, like, like, I definitely want, uh, zombies to return, sort of. I think that's something everybody, like, if I walk over here, like, this, this is the kind of stuff, last time I shot this thing, but this is the kind of stuff that I like whenever, whenever the stuff like this happens. And then, I walk over here, like, that kind of stuff is actually terrifying. And I don't care what you like, so that kind of stuff is terrifying. Um, it's, it's, that, it's, that, it's that small stuff. It's that small stuff. That small stuff. Uh, now, I've beaten the game already. Um, so, just so you guys could have an idea of what a nuclear nemesis would even be. Well, no, like, I, I wouldn't want him to start off, start off, like, I, I like that. I, I like the way Nemesis looked um, in the beginning of this. I like his new concept art, too. What I would want 
is a return to that form. I mean, you could even have, like, somehow Nemesis, like, fusing with Mr. T. I, like, I wouldn't do that. Honestly, I wouldn't do that. But, like, it's all about how the virus evolves because in this game, it really is, like, Nemesis is evolving like a virus, and it's kind of insane. He's also... It's, it, what, what Nemesis is, from what I could gather, and I was actually reading this stuff, he's a tyrant, but then they put a, 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 a some kind of parasite that allows you to take control of the mind of the tyrant and that's why he can search out stars and that's how they are controlling him from what i've read um i'm not sure how much different resident evil 3 nemesis is from resident evil 3 remake but that's from what i can gather gather so i have a few save files i really wanted to like have a few of them spread out because i wanted to be able to backtrack and i didn't know if you'd be able to choose chapters in this game um, there's a lot of things that I really enjoy about the Resident Evil, and the thing that I would like the most about it returning to Raccoon City is the fact that Raccoon City, like, for whatever reason, the lure of the enemies in Raccoon City were, it, it, is always, has always been better than any other game. Like, every other game, I except for maybe Resident Evil 4, with the regenerator and some of those enemies had some fantastic lore that I'd like to go back to and but but the molded is it, it, it doesn't top this maybe in Resident Evil Village they might be able to top it because I really do like the, the way Resident Evil Village is actually looking I really enjoy the way that that's turning out I think I'd actually uh that might actually you know return it back if that makes sense to um, a game where the environment in the it facilitates the enemies like it makes sense for where the enemies are and it just makes everything more believable if that makes sense it's sort of like amnesia in that way where the environment of amnesia dictates the enemies around you you know what i'm saying or the well more more or less the plot but in resident evil it's not the plot that it dictates the environment dictates what kind of enemies you'll run into and with every other game it didn't make as much sense it was more like you know this is a parasite here and when you're in a village but in resident evil when you're in raccoon city it's like here's a t-virus here and there's a laboratory and where they came from it's like it all fell into line and made sense if that makes sense um and that's what I liked about Resident Evil. There's a lot that you could like it's find. Fine. Give me the back. But um, yeah, this thing, and what it turns into after you hurt it enough, it just keeps on evolving. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like a crustacean type thing. I don't know why it turned into a crustacean. Maybe the parasite, you know, or whatever was a parasite that they took from a crustacean. I don't know. Um, but. You know, or, you know, I don't know how you even make Tyrants, for real. Um, I'm gonna have to play Resident Evil 2 Remake. I don't, I don't, I never beat Resident Evil 2, but again, I, I, I've seen a lot of playthroughs of that, and I really enjoyed Resident Evil 3. I could, I know why some people may not have enjoyed Resident Evil 3, but I enjoy Resident Evil 3 Remake, um, because I've never played Resident Evil 3. Uh, because again, I was way too scared because I was coming off of Resident Evil 2 remake. But here's my idea. I know there's some things that I still gotta fill in the gaps if, in order to actually get this, um, you know, pitch, plot, roll started. But I really enjoy um, Raccoon City, and I would like to go back to Raccoon City for whatever reason. Again. I don't know why, but I think uh, it would make sense to go back to Raccoon City. Well, I don't know if it makes sense. I think it'd be cool to go back to Raccoon City um, just to, um, for the nostalgia trip, you know what I'm saying? Um, and with a good story and, you know, some good scares in there, it'd be really, really cool. I definitely want it to be survival-oriented. I know people liked Resident Evil 2 Remake, so if anything, make it as much like that and Resident Evil 4 and probably even Village um, as possible, because I, th I think Village is going in the right direction. I think there's going to be a lot of um, a lot in that. It looks like there's going to be a lot to that game. I feel like Resident Evil Village is going to be more or less like um, 
the code Veronica, and I have that game too. I should probably beat that game. Um, I have that game too. It's really, it, I just don't like the controls on it, but because um, it's it's going back in time where these controls, um, were, you know, and I heard the Resident Evil Three original controls for dodging were, you know, kind of hard. There's some, there, there's a magic to harder controls. Like I kind of like harder controls like that too, but I kind of don't because you know then you can, it's real easy to get irritated and then just stop playing the game. But I also understand how there's also, you know, magic to that. Like, you know, you can't just pick up and play it. You have to, like, you know, get used to everything. So here's my um, my idea returning to Raccoon City for a Resident Evil mainline entry, like an 8 or a 9. So tell me what you guys think and i'll try to make it in dreams um at some point at some point i don't know when but this right here is holy crap i want this to happen if anything i will at least make some concept art for our nuclear nemesis or something because i actually think that would be cool to see um if i do it's gonna look good like again it's gonna look as much like this as i could make it i think i can make it um only thing with dreams is like unless they update it like you'll notice in dreams um no no they might not have to update it i just have i, I think if i if there would be a way for me to like make my own puppet then it might be easier for me to get those lines because you'll notice like you know it looks like a toy like an action figure because of the lines you know Whenever you're making a character, which isn't a, which is okay for dreams, you know. But I, I hope they, I hope, I hope somehow they can update that. I understand why it's like that because if they didn't do that, then it'd be hard. Like, like how, how would you possibly make a character? You know what I'm saying? Um, without a, w w without a basis to make the character, um, if that makes sense. What I think they should do. Or should have done. And they, I, I know they probably can't do this now. They probably thought about this too. Like if you could like make it to where you know how in um, Super Smash Bros. Um, where you're fighting those uh, wireframes or whatever. Like I think they should have. They they should like make it to where you could do that and then skin it. You know what I'm saying? It's probably actually like that in in, in real game development. I feel like that's the way it would be. You know what I'm saying? But I um. That that would be like a, a wonderful like I don't like you know they said they were gonna keep on updating dreams that'd be like like you know if, you know I don't know if that's even possible that's probably how it's actually done because I've seen polygons and stuff I like you know um and I and I've seen Blender so I'm I'm guessing that's how it actually is um but um yeah um this right here's my idea tell me what you guys think Christmas special and peace.